So we're back. Just wanted to show you real quick. I pulled this one right here. And I had to come under. There was a real high spot right here where it kinked out. So I had to knock it way in enough that we could cover it and fill. So I think we're okay there. And these are the three pieces I was talking about. So I welded them right on that edge. So hopefully we can pull those. Yeah, so what I'll probably do, once there's a bit of tension, because you're going to see the whole panel come out, I'm probably going to take the hammer and gently massage the body line here, which will kind of hopefully make it come into place. I think I'm going to set up the camera in a way that you can maybe see that. I'm going to try that. Hang on a second. I'm going to put you on pause and try to do that one. It's a bit of a hard one to do, but we'll try to do it in live time. Yeah, you can see I can wiggle that around, the suspension moves, the chain moves. Let me give it a couple more clicks. So yeah, she's basically pulled the whole fender out, right? Which isn't gonna help you get the shape. And then it did pull this out here, that's that lump. That's why I put a piece here, here, because it was a kink there. So once we get that out, we can knock that in later. That'll, we'll just hold that here with the vice grips and hit there. Let's try. Sometimes things are in the way to do like a direct hit. So I'm gonna use this hammer to hit this hammer. Yeah, she's slowly curling back, so you can't see it on camera, but it is working. Maybe, maybe you can. Oh yeah, wow, no, that's working out pretty good. So now I'm going to have to move it over to the next guy. We might knock that in just a touch. We can do it after too, but... Like I say, you go back and forth a lot sometimes. The more you do it, the easier it gets. You don't want to cut your hands or nothing, so I always like to take the chain off. You can move it with the chain on, but, you know, just kind of use your head. Keep in mind, anytime something looks a little, like, sketchy. Well, if it looks sketchy, it probably is, so. Your brain says, hey, wait a minute. Take that minute. This ain't the only way to do it. It's like not the right way to do it. There's a lot of ways to do it. But I mean, if you get anything from it, go ahead and do that. It might even give you an idea to do it a different way.
G'day. This side came out, this side didn't. So bite her a little closer. <laughs> you can adjust any of this as you want to, cut some off, put some on, whatever you gotta do. Again, no right or wrong way to do it. Get it done. Like I said, there's a little buckle here we'll have to pull. She's getting close enough. Cutting these a little shorter, just so I can kind of get closer, be a little more accurate. I'm gonna catch it on this side, pull a bit of that out with it. Might have to add a piece there after, but hopefully not. Hopefully this will do it. I usually wear those uh, cheap mechanic gloves. 
you know, you don't want to cut yourself or nothing. You might want to consider doing that with all this kind of work. Wow, look at that. Pretty much by hand. Like I said, you don't have to go crazy with the tension. People are like, what if a chain breaks? It's dangerous. We're not doing frames. We're doing sheet metal. Well, there's still a little divot there, so we're in the right spot. I'm gonna have to crank it. Just going above it a little bit to put a bit of a sink here so we can catch the body line later. You probably can't see why I'm doing that. We're done. <clears throat> She's pretty close to being flat. Right here, there's a little high spot. We'll have to hammer that in. She's down a touch here. That one's really stubborn. But once we knock this in, uh, I think that's going to be just fine. You know, we'll have to knock a little bit of that in to match it, put a bit of fill. We're talking, like I say, you put on about... I could see maybe an eighth of an inch going on, and by the time you board it down, there's really not going to be much there. I'm going to have to double ch check this all with a couple straight edges, make sure there's no divots. You can see there's one right here. Um, again, very fine. I might knock a little bit of that out. If I catch the light right, you'll be able to... There you go. So it goes from that weld there down a bit. There's a little, a little pock mark right here. It's like a softball hit it, but that was being hammered in because there was a high spot there before and I went a little too far, but you got to get where this isn't kinked, right? Because it has to be strong again. So I'll take a little bit of that out. Now you can see it. See how I caught it with the light off the ceiling there? Like, again, when you put a straight edge on it, it almost doesn't let light show through. So. It's pretty minimal. This is the last one we're gonna pull. Don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of a divot right here at the bottom. So if I catch it at the bottom, that'll be the last one. This one can be cut off because this is perfect. So, like I said, the hardest thing with this job was just kind of figuring it out. Um, there was extra metal this had to be knocked in, which would shrink it in to pull all that tight.
I might do a little bit of work there just with a dolly in behind. It's hard because there's a frame that runs way down to past the body line and you can't really get up in anything. Not a nice truck to work on these Fords. Um, but look, I mean, the reality is there was the big body shop was supposed to do this truck and they were waiting on a, I believe a skin to come in and it never did. So then it ended up here. Um, this, this truck is like, look how clean this truck is when you go along the rockers. Like it's really nice. It would have been nice to just put a brand new OEM skin on and they were saying, well, we got them, but we don't know how long. And anyway, it just became a wait forever scenario. So, <clears throat> so we're just doing what we got to do. Um, I don't know if the body shop would even bother with a dent this bad. It, it was pretty bad. So we're going to pull that, like I say, that one little, that one little piece there where it's welded. There's an indent there. It's very minor, but we're going to pull that. And I'm going to cut all the tabs off except the ones down low here. And we're going to finish. It's hard to show how dented in that is, but... You can kind of see it. So anyway, we'll pull some of that out a bit and... Maybe uh, we'll come back later when it's done and maybe even do a board filing video. If I get too busy, I can't, right? You know, it's just that, like, I'm no YouTube genius here by no means, but everyone keeps saying, you know, do it. It's fun, but we'll see. All right, thanks for now. Bye.